K Black Boston. Here another video. Shout out to the LDBC Lions Den basketball community, man. As you see on the screen, to the left, LeBron James. To the right, Michael Jordan. And the only reason why I even have both these guys on the screen, we know that the NBA Finals uh, ended last night. <clears throat> the Cavaliers got swept by the Golden State Warriors. And um, this is for the people who want to continue to spread the narrative, who want to perpetuate the truth, and continue to try to say that LeBron James is the GOAT, greatest of all time. In my opinion, he's not. He's a great player in his era. I mean, I've said it many a times, it's a phenomenal feat to go to the finals eight consecutive times, nine overall. It's a phenomenal feat. It's guys that have great players that have never been to the finals, right? So I give them props for that, but I cannot give them props for losing. This is, I'm not trying to, you know, belittle this guy, berate him, but at the same damn time, we got to put this narrative to rest. We have to put it to bed. If you thought if you thought differently after last night, this guy quit on his team. Uh even came in a press conference with a goddamn soft cast on as if he was he hurt his hand. Saying it was a self inflicted injury after game one. Be it as it may, true or false, he lost, okay? Some of the greatest have lost. And I wouldn't even be making this video. Or many others wouldn't even continue to say the things that you have said about LeBron James if many people have to try to compare him to Michael Jordan or call him the great, you know? Yeah, I know they try to put all those stats. At the end of the day, LeBron James, once, it's, uh, when, once the dust settles, he might be number one on all the goddamn uh, stats. But it's only one stat that really matters, and that's the W in the win column. Michael Jordan has six rings, six trophies, and this guy, LeBron James, only has three. Now, I've said this. If he, if he would have went to 15 consecutive finals, only won one, I would have been okay because, like I said, there's many great players that have never won one. But the reason why people continue to say things like this is because they try to compare them. So to the likes of Kobe and Jordan and you know and many others, man. So at the end of the day, if you're gonna compare this guy to the greats or crown him the greatest of all time, he at least has to perform. Just get in there, that doesn't that don't mean deadly squat because you got to win. Okay? At least win majority of them. You can't go there. This man is three and three for six. I mean the three three and six. He's three out of nine, okay? And if you want to argue, he could easily be one for nine. And he been swept twice. Swept last night and swept in his first finals against the Spurs, okay? But he can easily be one for three. If it weren't for Ray Allen uh, shooting that last minute three, the last second three, rather, to beat the Spurs, <laughs> he would have lost that. If it weren't for Kyrie Irving, even hitting his three, Versus the Warriors, he wouldn't probably have a victory. You know what I mean? That's neither here nor there. He won those finals regardless, so I'm giving credit for that. But we got to continue to – we got to quit saying this guy is the great when he doesn't deserve to be he – does, he doesn't deserve a title, man. You see this right here? Michael Jordan looking to the – you know, looking over his shoulder as if to say, this is y'all king. This is the guy y'all could continue – to try to compare with me. Take nothing away from LeBron James, great player. But he's not the greatest, man. All right? He degraded in, in this era. He's uh, He took advantage of the East that he played in. You know? The only thing I got to say this, man. Michael Jordan, in his time, you know, um, 
great player, phenomenal player, man. And that's the reason why a lot of us too we think about it. We we seen we seen Michael Jordan play, we seen Kobe Bryant play, we even seen LeBron play. So you can't put a wool over our eyes like we didn't see these guys play. This is how you know when you are the greatest of all time. When every player, past, present, and future, are compared to you, that's how you know you're the greatest of all time. No one's getting compared to LeBron James. Everybody's getting compared to MJ, Michael Jordan. Okay, only thing similar these guys has is they wear the same fucking number. Okay, in 23, honestly, jo uh, LeBron James shouldn't even wear this goddamn number. I heard him say before that 23 should be retired from the whole league, and I agree with that. It should be retired from the whole league, man. Him, Draymond Green, none of these guys should wear 23. And whoever else have won 23 or whoever else wore 23, okay? It's just the truth, man. We need to quit comparing these guys. Let LeBron have his only shine. At the end of the day, the greats like Kobe, AI, Michael Jordan, Bill Russell, Dr. J, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, they wouldn't have quit last night, man. He conceded. We all knew that he was going to lose anyway, and we all knew that it's a possibility that I thought game – I thought it was going to go to game five, in my opinion, at first. But, you know, after game three, I knew it was going to get swept, you know. But they didn't even put in a value effort, you know. They team leader and LeBron James quit, so shit, the whole team quit. So, as of right now, man, I'm going to just end this video real quickly. No more comparison, please. Put it to rest. Put it to bed. Michael Jordan's the greatest of all time. LeBron James is a great player in his era, okay? Be it as it may, y'all can say what y'all want to say. Quick comparing these guys, man. So what y'all think LeBron James is going to do next, man? Next year, do you think he's going to join the Rockets? Do you think he might even join the Lakers? I do think he's going to even join a team that whooped his ass last night and swept him. It's K-Black Boxing, man. Although I'm primarily a basketball channel, man. But, hey, you know, maybe next year I'll get into basketball a whole lot more, man. The Lions Den basketball community is on and popping. We blew up the boxing, so it's time to blow up basketball as well, man. But I'm going to leave you with this photo. This is a compelling photo. You see one guy who is willing to pass the ball, as you see as he passes. And you see one guy who wants the ball in his hand. When it get down to the nitty gritty. One is willing to pass it when it get down to the nitty gritty, because they want to take the last shot. One is want the ball in his hand, so he can take the last shot, man. And that sums it up. That's all I gotta say, man. As this says right here, LeBron, you just lost by 23 in the finals. Who's the GOAT now? I mean, this K-Black Boxing, man. Like, comment, subscribe.